guys, another day, another project. Actually, probably a few projects today. For starters, my tail lights need recalked. You can see this crack in here. If you start getting water behind these tail lights, it will rot your back wall. Our old Class C, it was so soft back here, the screws wouldn't stay in. That was before I tore the whole wall apart inside and put new wood in there, but it got pretty bad. So I'm going to get this old crap scraped off and put some new caulk on there. My other project, if it doesn't get too hot today, on the way to Illinois, I stopped at Walmart first and bought a bulb for this running light and the new bulb didn't come on. This one here, I was going to put a new bulb in it because it wasn't working. And then when I got to Walmart, I couldn't remember which ones it was, so I turned them on and this one was working. But then it went back out and then it was on again kind of dim so I think it's just probably some corrosion or something that one might be the same way hopefully hopefully it's not a short but we'll see all right guys the caulk's off Got a little cleaning up to do see how dull this looks well it's just oxidation it can be cleaned and shined you see underneath all that oxidation it's still black it's gonna take some really good cleaning, maybe some kind of armor all or something, shine it back up, and protect it. All right, guys, got all the caulk off, got them clean. Not shiny yet, but they're pretty clean. Got all the residue off, so I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And be ready to recaulk. All right, we're ready to start caulking. I'm gonna give you guys a little tip when you caulk. When you're caulking a gap, you never want to pull your caulk, which means you don't want to do like this. You want to push your caulk in this way. It fills in your gap better and you get a smoother bead of caulk. I'm going to attempt to show you with one hand. This is not easy with one hand. Okay, I'm going to stop there for a second. I see that made a pretty nice bead. The little line right here, don't worry about anything like that. I mean, that's a really clean caulk line. You can come back later when it dries and that will scrape right off. You should not have to work this with your fingers or anything. Especially this kind of caulk, it doesn't, it's not real workable caulk. You should try to get it smooth from the beginning. All right, I'm gonna try to get this done. I need my other hand. All right guys, there we go. It's all caulked up. Looks pretty good. Better than it did and it shouldn't leak now. Once the caulk's all dried up and stuff, then I'm gonna go back and try to clean all the oxidation off of these and make them black again. All right, I'm gonna wait on the lights outside. It's just too hot in the sun. It's not a huge hurry. I think it's gonna be cloudy tomorrow or the next day. So I'll climb up there on a cloudy day. I do need to get it done by the end of next month at least because the RV is due for inspection. I know all states don't have this. Even Kansas right next to us, you don't have to have any kind of inspection. You can drive any kind of junk around the street. But in Missouri, we have a state vehicle inspection. 
you submit personal property taxes, uh, insurance, and then you get it inspected, and then you can retag it. Or you can do one year or two years, depending on which year it is that it falls on. When I got it done the first time, when we bought the RV, I did a two-year tag. So it's due again, but the place I went to that's not far from here, it's like an auto truck repair place because everybody don't do vehicle inspections on RVs for some reason and you inspect it exactly like a car in Missouri basically all they do is make sure it looks roadworthy and all your lights and blinkers and stuff work your tail lights everything that's pretty much it but the place I took it to last year the guy didn't check anything he opened the door looked outside at the RV he said okay and he wrote it up put the sticker on the window sent me on my way so I want to go to the same place just in case but I'm still gonna try and fix the lights the rest of today I picked up this stuff it's turtle wax it's for the tail lights that I just caulked I'm gonna see if I can't shine that black up with it that's before and after that's pretty much what it looks like so we'll see if it works there was like I don't know at least 10 different brands of this trim restore so I pretty much just picked one I've known forever you know I tried to I was gonna get Meguiar's but they all pretty much claim the same thing I read three or four different bottles they all claim the same thing and they was all around the same price so I picked this one I'm also gonna do the plastic on the mirrors on both sides see if it'll shine up I planned on pulling them off the mirrors I was gonna pull off eventually and repaint but maybe that stuff will work and I won't have to do that that'll save me a little time and money so we'll see all right there's the caulk it's all dried up let's see if it'll shine all right guys that is not bad there's before and after not bad we'll see how long it lasts I mean, I hardly used anything, so I mean, if I got to do it like every time we wash it, that's fine. As long as it'll keep looking nice. Cool. I'm going to get this one done. All right, that's not bad at all. It is black again. I mean, it doesn't look like brand new, but, you know, from 10 feet away it does. <laughs> all right, I want to see what I can get these mirrors to look like now. All right, there's the mirrors. They look just as bad. I'm pretty sure this used to be black. So we're going to see what we can get it to look like. I was just going to take them off and paint them. But they might look good enough with this. We'll see. All right, that looks a lot better. I don't think these were ever black. I think they're just like a really dark gray. But that's not bad. And I also discovered that it works really well to shine the rubber on your windows and it takes off that mold or whatever grows on there. Like this crap. I don't know if you can see that very well. There's our sticker. It makes this look a lot better. Let's see if I can show you here. Not bad. Probably want to get it off the glass. I don't know if it'll hurt it. I don't think so. I think this stuff is just like a petroleum. But yeah. That looks dramatically better. And we just washed this thing too on the way home. And I scrubbed these windows and stuff. Wow, it looks a lot better. Awesome. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go around and probably do all of these windows and get the other mirror. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.